What is up YouTube? It is Matty and yes today this episode is going to be all about the beating the final level in the new campaign. So just loading up my rival kingdoms here. I've um, got a couple of buildings to complete. I'm pr getting pretty close to a uh, max town or, um, stronghold 6 now so that's that's pretty cool. We'll be able to um, to move up to stronghold 7 and see what that has to offer. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. It's about the uh, yeah, and today being the twentieth of May was the day that the new um, content was released, the new single player walkthrough content, and it's Trickster's Wake. So unfortunately, the only um, downside of this is that I can't show you actually, you know, doing it live because when I did it, it was. Um, earlier today there's no form of replay either so I can't sort of replay the content to show you exactly how I did it um, but what I can do is talk you through how I uh, got the job done as you'd expect the final mission was the hardest um, Erasmus Erasmus's stronghold um, Flames Rest was I got a little bit lucky on and landed like one one warden left on the town hall or something like that sorry left on the stronghold um, but yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how I did the final mission. I'll show you w what the map actually is because it was a, it was difficult, and as a, only being a stronghold six, it was quite tricky. Um, but just to confirm what my troops stats were for um, before I show you how I did it, my if I go into my barracks, which is here. So my I, I used one one mauler, one soldier and two wardens. Now sit I have all my um what are they called troop portals at the highest level for ta stronghold six, so I get six of each troop. So that's six six warden sorry, six soldiers, twelve wardens and three maulers in total. Now the ancient that I actually used to get the the job done for me was my Ice Ancient Hegar. Um, I think that's how you pronounce him. And he's level 29, so he's pretty high. Um, I think it can be done with a few ancients. So I'll show you how I did it. But you definitely need the dragon for this. So that's going to be pivotal. So just going into a screenshot I've got of the actual. Because uh, this is how I'm able to show the video. So I was messing around and trying different ancients and this, that, and the other um, to try and get this right. And different army strategies as well. And looking at the uh, the base itself, you know, you can't really get any free mana, not, there's not much you can get. And all the spell towers are set to confusion. Now, that is well annoying. Let me tell you, when you're trying to push in a base, let's say I, I, I take maulers in, as soon as they get hit with that, they start attacking and killing each other. And there's, it's really difficult. And I was struggling on it for a long time. I tried lots of different strategies. Um, there's a slightly closer up view of the actual core. And I'll tell you what I noticed. So, firstly, the um, cross ooh, crossbow looking structure um, up there between the spell tower and catapult. Now, that only targets ground. So, what I actually found out was if I placed my dragon right onto the top of that, there was no air defense that could reach me. And actually, the dragon was then able to take down the, that spell tower, the catapult, and the crossbow. So that my first sort of attempt was me sort of if you can see trying to see what I could take down over there and you can actually see I was getting I I got both buildings down and the catapult down with with full dragon health le health left I then <laughs> thought um I won't cuz cuz the spell tower couldn't target the dragon um I thought Oh, maybe, maybe the mana, um, sorry, maybe my mana hunters, it won't target them because they're sort of flying units as well. So I tried an all, an all mana hunter attack and that didn't work. But if you look at those left two spell um, towers, they, they're both out of range of defences as well. And this got me thinking. So I tried attacking from the angle over there, and the the, the problem is these the spell towers in the core were still hitting my troops and still killing them quickly. So my plan started to oop, so my plan started to develop, um, where I took those two spell towers down. Um, sorry about all the notifications, guys. Um, but I took those two. Um, sorry about that, guys. I just had to disable no notifications. Um, 
so yeah and but what i realized and this is part of how i actually ended up doing this strategy was that by taking both of those spell towers down i could then drop my dragon right on the north of that that man and um, that troop portal and because that has free mana as well that was going to help my cause but it also means when you destroy a building inside the base you can then drop troops inside the base and that got me thinking so I was actually able, if you have a look here, look at the health of the spell tower because there were some things damaging it anyway, um, some firestorms going on. But my dragon, when it was sat on that spell tower, um, was at, was 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 able to take it down. <clears throat> and the other ca the other spell tower couldn't reach, so that's my in. Now the once I'd got that down, I'd taken all three of those spell towers down and got the mana there. I had enough to do a freeze spell. So my plan was as simple as this. As soon as that spell tower goes down, I dropped my freeze on those two catapults. Um, and then just spammed the troops in. Maulers, soldiers, wardens, all in. And then just let let have a rain. And I think if the dragon hadn't died, I think I tried to swoop him off to get some extra freeze. But I think he pretty much died as soon as the um, it all kicked off. And lo and behold, I actually was able to get it just about. Now, why I was, why I was saying other ancients might work is because you, the freeze didn't do much. If you've got a heal spell or um, like a, a healing agent, like uh, um, so ancient like Nyrax, um, the one you saw. Uh, that one and uh, that ancient because that middle s spell there's a heal one or if you've got something that can up their defense for a minute or and or or disarray one of the defenses to sh target something else you know if you can do, if you can do anything like that i think you might be in a shout with a spam you might want to try two lots of foot soldiers and two lots of wardens but use the start use your dragon because it's free and you can see I basically had just over a minute and probably 50 seconds by the time that spell tower was down to do the raid and you don't need that long. So get those two spell towers down, get the mana and um, the troop portal and the third spell tower down and then just try a spam attack. If you're a, if you're a stronghold six you might get the job done. And here is the further, I just dumped my um, maulers in across the map there because I didn't care. I got the victory. And yes, got my new guy. Um, and instantly, because I was able to, um, I'd, everyone knows you. You find Kestra like every other relic box. It's ridiculous. So I got him up to level 19. Now, pro tip: because I'm strong on six, the max level is 20. Creep him up to level 19 using like 500 pure and 500. Um, what's the what's the Primus called again, um, nature, yeah, creep him up to 19, then absolutely cane the rest in, so you'll see what I mean here, look, I once he was at level 19, I just threw all of that Primus straight in, 2,500 on every slot, and then I managed to get him straight up to level 27, that's how I've been getting my, um, my guys pretty high, and if you actually look at their levels, you know, I've got Nyrex 28 for Avail is ready to go as soon as I get enough ice. So I'm stacking my um, Primus ready to absolutely blast them out to get the max level. Hegar, I actually got to 29. Um, Erasmus, 27. So that's how I'm doing it. Um, my next target, I think, is going to be Admiral Lee, actually, because he looks like a proper beast. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and me showing you how to do this, this campaign map. Um, and yeah. Please subscribe to the channel, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!